Hi, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dr. Latrice Montgomery, and the purpose of this channel is to discuss marijuana from a scientific perspective. Now, I know it's been a while, been about two months since our last video, but I am back. There have been, there's been so much that's happened since the last video, so I'm going to give you a few life updates and just share a few thoughts that I have with you today. So, as I said, there's been so many things happening, and if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I said that I have a big announcement, a big surprise, so I want to share that with you, um, but you got to stay to the end, so it's, you know, don't click off yet, stay to the end, and then I'm going to talk some today about um, treatment resources and just some thoughts that I have around that area. But before I jump into that, I also want to say um, welcome to all of my new subscribers. It's been so great to see just over these past few weeks, there have been so many people subscribing to the channel and I've received so much interest. I've even had people email me with questions about things that they've seen in the video. So that just really warms my heart. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you for recommending topics and asking questions. So please keep the subscriptions coming. Tell your friends, tell your family. I'm always excited to have new followers and to just keep the conversation going around uh, cannabis use, tobacco use, just psychology and research in general, just in how we can make sure that research is reaching the folks, reaching the people, and that we're not just kind of in our labs doing stuff and it's not really reaching anybody. So I'm always excited to hear that people, um, you know, want to hear what's going on. So thank you so much. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. And like I said, I'm going to give you an update because I am going to try to post more on here and, and upload more videos. Um, but once I tell you what's been going on these past couple of months, I think you'll have a better sense of like what I'm doing and, you know, why I slowed down a bit. But it's all, you know, some good stuff going on. So, all right. So before I'm going to go downstairs, I'm going to take you downstairs because I want to, that's where I want to share like the announcement and the big update. But I wanted to just talk to you first because, again, this channel is all about research and um, science. And so a question that I've received um, really in, over my entire career, but especially in these past few weeks, um, is related to cannabis use and cannabis use treatment. And so uh, I wanted to just point out a few things about this area, and I thought it would be good to bring it uh, here to this format. So one, there's always this weird thing about cannabis treatment because some people are like, do you even need treatment for cannabis? Um, it's, it's natural, it's from the earth, it's not a big deal, it's not like it's heroin or some other drug. And so there's always this discussion of is it even necessary to um, you know, be in treatment or to seek treatment for cannabis? And of course, the answer to that really depends on each individual situation. But I will say this, and, you know, contrary to popular belief, not everyone uses marijuana or has used marijuana before in their life. And I think that's kind of a big misconception that people have, that it's just something that's out there, that's natural, and everybody's doing it or has done it, and that's just the way it is. But in fact, that's not necessarily the case. And on top of that, um, there are people who may be using cannabis, but they actually want to cut back or quit altogether because they are feeling like it's affecting their body, you know, mentally or physically, or it's just not working for them anymore. So um, that's the first thing I want to say is that there are people out there like that, and that it's not just this popular common thing that people always think that it's just, you know, everybody's doing it. It's not a big deal um, because, you know, I've seen otherwise, and I've seen people who have, you know, been negatively impacted by it or may feel like it, it's just making them feel different, and so they, you know, don't want to do it anymore. So just know that if you're, if you know someone or you, you yourself are kind of in that boat of you're trying to figure out, you know, what's going on or should I quit or do I even have an issue or do I have a problem? Um, know that this is something that, you know, it's not unique to you. You know, there's a lot of people that are, are in this space and I've seen it with my own two eyes and I see it within my work. So that's the first thing is just kind of normalizing that this is out there and that, um, you know, people, are interested in quitting or, or cutting back or, um, you know, quitting altogether. The second thing I want to say is that, um, you know, with treatment approaches, it can be very, you know, interesting in terms of just going to a traditional office. And so if you think about, you know, like I've mentioned other harder, like harder drugs or like heroin or, you know, some other types of, um, 
cocaine use or whatever it might be. And people might say, oh, yeah, well, of course you're going to go to treatment. You're going to go see a healthcare provider about that. Um, but it's not the same with cannabis all, often. And so people are hesitant or they don't even know if there's people that will actually just focus specifically on cannabis. So for the purposes of this video, number one, I will say that cannabis is on the list of, of uh, substances that are treated. So you can go to your healthcare provider and get the treatment that you need um, or that you you know want or if you have questions about kind of where you are, if you even have an issue or just kind of giving it some thought, that option is available to you. But I also realize that on the flip side that there not everyone has that luxury of being able to go to treatment to, you know, determine if there is a problem or determine if they want, um, if they need help. They're not really sure where to turn. And so a question that I often get more broadly just out in the community is, you know, what do I do if I'm in that space if I want treatment but can't necessarily get it for whatever reason, um, for whatever reason. I do want to share that there are actually some apps that you might consider looking at. So we talk about like, we'll just, just take uh, 12 steps. You probably have heard of that for alcohol and I'll include all of this in the links below, but you probably heard of that for alcohol and perhaps for other substances, but they actually have something very similar for cannabis. And so um, one app in particular that I'm thinking of is the Marijuana Anonymous mobile app. And I believe it's on both uh, Google Play um, and in the uh, Apple Store. And you can go there and download it. It's free. And it's very similar to what you would see in a 12-step group. So if you go on there, you'll see that it will ask, um, you know, to help you actually keep track. So if you're, let's say, you you know, are smoking a certain number of blunts a week or in a month and you want to cut back, it'll actually help you with cutting back and, and keeping track of what you're doing and, and your progress. And it'll also um, show you where the groups are located in your area, in-person groups, um, online groups, over the phone groups. So you can take a look there. They also have resources and research and some of the research that I discuss, um, for example, is very similar to the kind of literature that's available in that app. Um, and there's so many other features that are there. And again, that's just one app. There are a few others that might be really good. We still need a, a great deal of research into kind of the general effectiveness of it, but just in terms of being able to kickstart it and just thinking about the idea and, and having something that you can turn to initially just to get you to kind of see, even if it's just to track how much you're using, because sometimes that can be an intervention in and of itself, just so you can kind of get a sense of, well, how much, you know, cannabis am I consuming in a day or in a week or in a month? And, um, you know, does it impact me or not? And so those apps at the very least can help you with that. So I'm going to include a link uh, down below. First, feel free to write down in the comments if you have specific questions. Um, and of course, you know, this is just my general thoughts on this. This definitely should not override or replace anything that your healthcare provider is sharing with you. But I just wanted to make sure that you had some resources and to let you know that there are these um, things that are out there because um, I love the research that I do, but of course it means nothing if it doesn't actually reach the people. So um, just thought I would share that. And especially I thought after coming back from a break for a while and just kind of jumping back into this, I thought it would be good to kick things off with that. So that's kind of my cannabis spiel for today. I'm going to be back, you know, uploading some videos, days in the lives and stuff like that. So now we're going to go and move on downstairs while I have a big surprise. I am downstairs now and I told you that I would share my big announcement with you. Um, but before I jump into the big, big announcement, I wanted to um, just share another life update with you, um, which is part of the reason why I've been away and just trying to you know, get back on track here. But um, unfortunately, in January, I lost my father, and um, it's still hard for me to even say those words and for it to actually sink in, but um, it's definitely been one of the hardest things, uh, one of the most difficult things that I've ever experienced. So uh, it's definitely been tough, but I'm so grateful to have um, such wonderful family and friends that um, are supportive and looking out and we're out there for each other. But, you know, I miss my dad, I do. and. 
um, even though you know this is very hard, it's very difficult. Um, you know, I'm just in, even more so encouraged now to continue to do the channel because I remember when I said that I wanted to do YouTube. You know, he was very big. Him and my mom were very big on like, okay, we got to get you a camera. We got to. So he just was always super supportive of everything that I did. Um, and then I remember I would have like rough days and I would call like going off like, oh, I can't believe this happened or I don't know how I'm going to do this. And he's like, treats. Just do me a favor, take a nap, get you some rest, wake back up, start over, you know, have, get a fresh start to the day. So um, I just keep all of those things with me and just, you know, so I, it just, I just appreciate it even more now. So, you know, I dedicate my channel to my dad, to my dad. Um, I miss him and I love him so much and I just, you know, just miss his presence and his encouragement and his love and support. But. Um, I'm comforted in knowing that he's in a better place and um, that makes my big announcement even more exciting and all the work that I'm doing uh, research wise and the things that are happening, it makes it even more exciting because I know that he is smiling down. I know that this is what he would uh, want me to do and that he would be right here like encouraging me and pushing me even when I don't really feel like I'm at 100% with everything. He's like, nope, you got it. So. Um, so everything that I'm doing, I dedicate this to him and just, just want to give a, a special shout out to my dad. He's the GOAT. He's the best to ever do it. Um, so thank you. And between him and my mom, like I'm, I'm just extremely blessed to have them both and my siblings and, and just everyone. So I'm starting to get emotional. You can tell. So before I kind of go down this, this road of getting too emotional, I did just want to share that. And, um, this is my dad. Um, his name is Vernon Andrew Montgomery. And um, I miss him and I dedicate my channel and you know, everything that I do um, to him. And um, yeah, it's tough, but, uh, but I got this data and, and um, I'm going to continue to make you proud. So that was just kind of a life update that I wanted to share with you. Um, just put that out there and just ask for your prayers and for your encouragement. And just to also send encouragement your way if you've lost a family member or especially a parent or parents. It can be very difficult, but um, just know that, um, you know, you're in my thoughts and you're in my prayers. So, okay, y'all. Got to be a G, got to keep it together. So um, I'm going to move on now and tell you what the big big announcement is. So, three, two, one. Okay, so I can finally share the big news. So, believe it or not, over these past few months, in the midst of everything that I've had going on, just writing grants and trying to do research and just, it's just been a lot happening. But, I stuck to it. I did it, and y'all, as of last week, I am a licensed real estate agent. Yes, a real estate agent. Can y'all believe that? Now I get paid and I'm feeling relieved. I gave a round of applause to myself. I I'm still trying to wrap my mind around that as well, but I went on ahead and did it. So as you can see, I have all my books here. Um, I took all the courses that were necessary to take. I took the exam and passed the exam on the first try, the national and the state exam. Super excited about it. And yes, I am a licensed real estate agent. I am licensed with eXp Realty. So I'll include a link down below to eXp Realty. So if you are in the market, buying, selling homes, hit me up. I'm here and ready to go. So yes, I am a licensed real estate agent. I'm super excited and I know some people are probably like, wait, what? I thought you were like doing research and psychology. I'm still doing all of that too. Um, but I have a huge, huge goal in mind. I have just some dreams that involve real estate and involve psychology and research and everything that I have going on. So, you know, I'm just trying to just plant little seeds here and there, just doing a few things and just trying to build my way up to some things. But, um, yeah, so I'm out here. I'm excited. And please, 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 you know, keep me in mind if you're looking to buy or sell a home. And, um, yeah, and I just want to encourage you to, you know, if you're doing certain things, because this, again, this is like new for me. You know, I'm super excited about it. I've learned a lot. I feel like I know a lot about the field. But, of course, you know, everything has a day one. So um, I will be starting like day one and still have, a, you know, a lot of things to learn. 
but I'm excited about it. And so I hope that, you know, this will also encourage you if you have things that are on your to-do list and you're trying to, you know, get them done or you're contemplating whether or not you should do it at all. Um, you know, my thing is do it afraid, do it anyway. You can make it happen. And even in the midst of all the things that I had going on, still made it happen. So it's possible. You can do it. Um, and I'm, like I said, I'm, it's, it's crazy to even like say this now publicly. Like, yes, I am a real estate agent, a licensed real estate agent here in Ohio. So, uh, yeah, so that's my big news. I'm excited. I'm going to continue to kind of share my journey, um, to real with real estate on here as well. But of course, you know, the primary purpose of this channel is to discuss my research and um, kind of the work that I do as a research psychologist. But, you know, I have this new journey and these new things that I'm doing and learning along the way. So I'll also share those with you. So I'm super excited. Can't believe it. I still have some other things that I'm working on, too, that I'll continue to share with you. But again, just go pursue your dreams, whatever you want to do. You can do it. So I'm here to encourage you. Here to tell you that you can do it you're never too you're not too young you're not too old you're not too anything just do it if you want to do something do it don't let anybody or anything stop you and there will be you know things along the way there's definitely been challenges and times where i was like what am i doing am i fit for this can i how can i do this with everything else going on am i cut out for it what if i don't you know what if i fell in this area what if i don't whatever like don't talk yourself out of it just continue to just do you and continue. If you had a dream, go for it. Just do you. And one thing, like, it was funny because my sister, she sent me something and I forgot I'm gonna mess it up. So I don't even know I'm trying to like recite what it is, but you know, it was just basically like there are people out there that are doing, you know, the things that you want to do and they're doing it in a mediocre way and still making stuff happen. You know, they like doing it mediocre, like just with, with mediocrity and you, like we sit here and like, you know, in our mind and we make up all these reasons of why we can't do something or what if people don't like it or what if we, and we talk ourselves out of it before we even do it. And so like, I'm beyond that. I'm past that now. Cause that's been my experience of just talking myself out of things and, but I'm not doing it anymore. So this is just kind of my journey into I'm not doing that anymore. And uh, I'm excited. And uh, if you want to come along the journey with me, um, you know, like I said, I'll be sharing it here on this channel. All my information will be included down below. So y'all know how I do. Y'all know I ramble. I can just talk. So I, I feel myself rambling. So I'm going to stop here. But I uh, just again want to say thank you so much to all my new subscribers. There's new content coming your way. And again, just a huge shout out to my dad. I love you. I miss you. You are the GOAT. Um, and you know, I'm going to continue to, you know, make you proud and just continue to just do things in your name and just shout out to all of my family and my friends and people who have been there for me, um, during, you know, throughout this loss and just in general, I, I'm, I appreciate it so much. And just thank you to all the subscribers. Thank you for always tuning in and uh, watching all the videos. And like I said, I'm excited. I have a lot of great things coming on. I also have some new research projects. So y'all like it's a lot but i'm excited and i hope that um you know you'll be encouraged by the things that you see here because you know it's just it's so much for us to do we all have so much potential so it's just our job to just get up and just live up to that potential every day so all right i think that's enough um thank you and have a good week i'm out